What's going on, Bulls fans? I know we had some fun earlier with Petty Roosevelt taking over the podcast, but we have a couple of injury updates that I wanted to bring to you guys because this is Chicago Bulls Central, and we're your number one place for all Bulls-related news and content, so we're going to get into it right after this. All right, so unfortunately, I wish I had as fun as a video uh, for you today as I brought it a little bit earlier, but unfortunately, so we, we got some reports on some injuries. So first, Devontae Green, uh, has a groin injury and he's going to be missing two to four weeks. Now this is going to hit the Bulls pretty hard um, because we know he's our starting power forward. Now we did have we do have Derek Jones Jr. back as Caruso comes back to solidify that bench again. We can we can overcome it some, but it's going to be a, a pretty significant loss to be without a player like him for about a month. We know that, like I said, in the next couple of weeks we got some pretty big matchups coming up, and he plays an important role, especially in our defense, which his versatility brings. The, his ability when he does get open shots to hit to hit those shots, um, his dunks, everything. Um, and, you know, especially with us having some pretty big matchups in, in Brooklyn, Dallas, Golden State, um, Boston, if you look at that, Milwaukee, you'll probably miss that Milwaukee game as well. That's on, in, on January 21st. Those are significant games that is that we're really going to feel the absence of Javante Green. And we know we have Derek Jones Jr. who does a, who's done a very good job on the team so far. And I do trust Derrick Jones Jr. to really bring some some athleticism and some some just excitement as well. But at this point now, especially considering another update that we got in this as well, is Tyler Cook is is going to be out for two weeks as well with a pretty severe ankle sprain. And then that can easily be upgraded to being out longer than that as well. So unfortunately, like, you know, having some, two significant injuries to our front court or players who play in our front court. We know Javante Green hasn't historically been a power forward, but two players that play that power forward and big man rotation for us, the Bulls are probably, you know, I know that we have been asking the question, do the Bulls need to make a move? And at this point, you know, we'll see what Jordan Bell can give us. I, I expect now is fully um, for Jordan Bell to really get some significant looks at him. Ursan as well, if he ends up staying um, outside of that 10 day contract as well. You know what those players can give us at the four um, because we're going to need it. And, you know, Derek Jones Jr., I feel like, like I said before, I, I feel he can really fill in at the four. I had at one point called for Derek Jones Jr. to be our starting four. Um, so I, I, I trust and have full faith in him fully in there. But with Tony Bradley still out as well, we don't know how much longer he's going to be out. But then again, Tony Bradley doesn't give you nearly the offensive capability or shooting that Javante Green gives you. And he doesn't really give you a lot of the solid offense that Tyler Cook, in my opinion, gave you as well. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Bulls do here um, because it could very well be that we 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 decide to keep uh, Jordan Bell a little bit longer or Ursan a little bit longer, maybe sign them to a non-guaranteed kind of full deal outside of those 10-day deals. But this is this, these losses are going to be significant for the Bulls because it's both of them, right? If it was one or the other, I think we can overcome it. But, you know, let me know what you guys think down below. How do the Bulls, who steps up in the Bulls, uh, in the absence, I'm sorry, of Javante Green and then what do you think the Bulls do with Jordan Bell and Ursan? Do you think one of those stay? Uh, I hope we get a look at Jordan Bell tonight a little bit more. We're about an hour away from game time as I record this. But I wanted to bring you guys this update, just a quick update. Let me know what you guys think about it, man. Um, next man up mentality. It's been the theme of this season, and it's going to continue as it, you know, we know we're going to deal with injuries. It's a long season. Every team has to deal with injuries in some way. It just sucks that we still haven't gotten everyone quite back um, healthy before we, we lose another person. but. This is the NBA, man. This is the way that it goes. Next man up mentality. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Like I like to end every episode on. Go Bulls. Love you guys. Peace. This has been a presentation of The Breaks, Breaks, Breaks Media. Media. Media.